Hey guys, so the last game before the British and Irish Lions play the actual Springboks is the Stormers. And the Stormers may have a tough task because they are facing a British and Irish Lions team that lost their first game on tour so far. Uh, they lost to that SAA plus type of team uh, on Wednesday. So that's a quite a big loss for them. They will want to get back to winning ways and they will want to rectify a couple of things because they kind of know now what to expect from the Springboks. So the Stormers might have a tough task at hand. If you do look at the two squads, there's just a couple of changes to the Stormers team uh, from the Western Province team that played a couple of a couple of days ago or a couple of weeks ago uh, where they lost to the Griquas, not the best loss they could have had. Uh, the Griquas is not a team that's supposed to be rolling over the Western Province every now and then in Cape Town. For the Lions, they have a new squad as expected. They've been choosing a new squ squad every other day or every other game. So for the front row, the Stormers, that I think that's probably one of their big tasks in this one because they have an injury to Ali Fermaki as a career-threatening injury from that Gekwas game. So uh, he is out. Leon Lyons steps in. Nietlin Fushia at number three. Nietlin Fushia, he is a very tough character when it comes to scrum time. Very strong. He's been learning from the best from Malarbe. But Leon Lyons, I don't think he is at that level. He might have a tough day at the office, especially against Furlong, who I think is going to be the number three for the Lions. You can maybe let me know what you think there. Then we get Sutherland, he's at number one. Number two, Cowan Dickey, who is always dangerous around ruck time, dangerous at the back of a mall as well. Up against JJ Kotzer, he's a prolific try scorer at the back of the mall. He's the top try scorer so far in the Curry Cup, so you get the idea that he is quite good in that set play. Then we get Adam Beard, he's starting, I think, his first game now for the Lions. Johnny Hill also getting a start again for the Lions. They are going up against the second row. In the form of Van Rijn, a young captain. I think he's 23 years old for the Stormers. Schickeling, he's a Springbok prospect. He's been in the in that round or in the fold for the Springboks for quite a, for some time now. But there's a lot of big names above him. Uh, Schickeling, he is the real threat when it comes to line-out time. Van Rijn, he's actually a flanker, a little bit playing out of position at the moment. Tad Byrne, he's good at breakdown time, so is Watson, so the Stormers might have a tough task when it comes to breakdown time. The feature for the Stormers though, Namakawa, very good when it comes to breakdown time. I actually thought if it wasn't for that injury he had a bit earlier this year, he would have maybe made it to the Springbok 45. Then it's Johan de Tue, that's Peter Steff de Tue's little brother, versus Watson. De Tue, he plays similar to his brother, just not at that level yet. Jevan Ruas, I think that is the real prospect in the Stormers team. I think if there might be a, a number 8 injury uh, in the Springbok fold, this guy could really get in there because he's been in superb form since moving from the Sharks uh, to the Stormers late last year. Uh, Jack Conan, he's at number 8 for the Lions. Then Ali Price, the Scotsman, is at number 9. He's up against Masimla. Masimla, he plays fast, very similar to Herschel Yankees. He's just prone to a lot of errors. And giving away silly penalties in a row, which costs his team dearly a lot of times. Then Marcus Smith, what a year this guy's had. Uh, he has two caps for England and now he's a Lions a player as well. I, I mean, I'm supporting the guy as well. I'm a South African, but I'm really proud of the, the youngster to be there. He's up against Tim Swill. You might know him. He played in the Premiership as well. Uh, he's kind of that Mr. Consistent for the Stormers. No flashy number 10 there. He's just... Consistent player, consistent with a boot as well, and he's won a lot of games for the Stormers at the end of the game when it comes to penalties and conversions. At number 12, Henshaw, he's back from his injury just in time for that test series, so he would want to show what he can do at number 12. He's up against Dan Duplessis. I don't think the best number 12 out of the Stormers is 12 rankings. They probably could have went with Pretorius. He's the more powerful, quick runner out of the two at number 12, but they are trying to get the best out of both players. Uh, Elliot Daly, he's at number 13, again starting in this game. I do think he's probably favorite at the moment to start at number 13 in the Test Series. I don't know, Henshaw, if he really does impress, it might be Aki and Henshaw. Uh, Pretorius at number 13, very quick for a tall player. Really is deceptionally fast, so um, kind of like a Damon de Allender mold player, and uh, not there yet, but You'll see what I mean. He's still a youngster. Uh, quite quick. He can get that ball out wide though as well. But he's more of a guy that likes running directly. 
Out wide for the Lions, they have Dwan van Amarve. He's starting out this week after missing out in the previous one. Josh Adams, the prolific try scorer for the Lions, he's back this week as well. Uh, with I think he just had a little bit of a niggle or COVID-related stuff that made him miss that SAA game. They are up against two flyers in the in the Stormers' team. Edouard van Amarve, that is a Cheslin Colby mold there. I think he is the next Cheslin Colby for South Africa. A very prolific try scorer and he has a big step on him. He does step a couple of guys in a game. Then Siabat Belo Sanatla, Sevens World would know him. He is a very fast, one of the fastest players in the world. He's not international though, so that's probably why he's not in that rankings. But I would say he's one of the fastest in the world. Uh, then Stuart Hogg, he's at number 15, captaining the side as well. The previous game he captained, he really uh, did a good job for the team. Up against Sergil Peterson, probably not his preferred position. He's actually a winger, so he might be found out of position at the moment. But he hasn't been found at the, out of position in the Curry Cup. But the guy doesn't have a kicking boot. He doesn't have a good kicking boot. So if they do kick at number 15, there might be a couple of problems because not one of those back three players can kick especially a guy like Sanatla he's not known for his kicking boots on the two benches there's a lot of changes for the Stormers the Lions team is actually a little bit more consistent with that bench kind of probably uh, building who they want to have a consistent bench uh, on the regular for them uh, Jamie George he's up against Andre Yehu Fenter uh, Bluesa and Sandy might have a tough task Sandy I do rate him a little bit higher than Bluesa Bluesa doesn't play a lot of games for the Stormer, so he might have a tough task here. And he's a he's a light guy as well. He's quite light for a prop. Vinny Paula, I don't think he's impressed really on this tour so far. No, not really. When he comes onto the park from the bench, he's not really out scrumming anyone. Ferguson at number 18. Alan Wynne-Jones, he's back for the team. After he would have missed the tour with that dislocated shoulder, he's back now. He's up against Justin Basson. I know nothing about him. Marcel Tienerson at number 20, uh, number 6, but doesn't really play a fetching role. Sam Simmons, always look out for him because he's a prolific try scorer for the forwards. Gareth Davies at number 9 for them. Then the Stormers have Bursi, also don't know too much of him as a youngster. Abner van Rienen, also a young player. He's had a couple of uh, first team starts as well. He's one of those more flashy number 10s, gets a lot of moves through as well. Sometimes just not so consistent with his game. Chris Harris, the center, is at number 22, 23. Reese Zamet is at number 23 there. And then Wasps fans, you will see John de Jong is at number 23 for the Stormers. I'm excited to see him back because I am a Stormers fan. I've always been following them. So John de Jong being back for the team, he is a veteran for the side. So it's great to see what he can do again. He just has that prolific step on him when he does play at number 13. Very physical for a small guy. Guys, getting to prediction time, it is Cape Town. Like I say, it is, is, is a, a slippery pitch. I say it every time because it is actually a football pitch. It's not my preferred pitch to play in any international games on. Uh, we saw a couple of slips in the SAA Lions game as well. For me, the prediction here is going to be a high one. Again, I will say the Lions probably to win it by, let's say, 38 points. The Stormers, they won't have the ability to keep it in for that long especially at scrum time might struggle and that is where the lions will really nail the stormers here guys let me know your prediction down in the comments below also check out these videos next to me hit the subscribe button if you do want to see me for more lions content and then i'll see you for the next one cheers Bye.